working on a vessel in a very small space, oftentimes it can be very difficult to get a 60 or even a 45 into that space. You're oftentimes in very tight angles and you don't have uh, great uh, exposure, especially laparoscopically, to some of the distal tissue. Sometimes you have to divide tissue so that you can get better tissue exposure proximally. When you have a smaller working space and you're not able to actually extend that stapler load into that working space, it works out better to use a smaller staple load that you can get around things and you don't need to have as much of the uh, degrees of freedom. And I wouldn't underestimate the use of the 30 millimeter stapler. On the liver uh, resections, using a shorter 30 is absolutely ideal when you're taking the right hepatic vein through the, through the laparoscope or even when you're doing it open and you don't have a lot of room on the upside of the liver by the diaphragm. You actually want a shorter staple one so it gives you more maneuverability. It's not as cumbersome. Specifically when it comes to liver surgery, I personally like to use a combination of energy and stapling technologies. And personally for liver energy, I like to use the ligature. I think it's important to choose the proper length of staple so that you don't have the excess staples laying around, which again will impede your use of certain energy devices. It behooves us to have a good stapler that we can trust to make sure that we're doing the best job we can for our patients.